Welcome to our tutorial about the flat pattern tool. I've already got my primary plate, now let's add a couple flanges. Distance may be 5 millimeters, and click OK. Now let's flatten our part, create flat pattern. Next, let's right click on the flat pattern feature and select Edit Flat Pattern Definition. On the first tab, Orientation, we can change the orientation by flipping it if necessary. Click Apply. On the next tab is Punch Representation. If we're using the Punch tool, we've got a few options for how this feature will be represented in the flat pattern. Formed, 2D Sketch, 2D Sketch and Center Mark, etc. Let's take a look at the last tab, Bend Angle. And here we do specify the bend angle. Let's cancel out of this window. Now right click on the flat pattern and select Extents. Here's the width and length of our part as well as the area, sheet extent area. Let's close this window. Lastly here, let's see how we can edit the flat pattern. Create 2D sketch and let's try to drop it on the flat pattern, but we get a warning. Edits to the flat pattern are exclusively applied to the flat pattern and won't be reflected on the folded model. So keep that in mind. Let's click OK and let's use the circle tool. We're going to drop our circle right about here. Let's apply a vertical and horizontal constraint to this point and this point. Dimension it. Let's pull up our list of parameters. And we're going to choose corner relief size. Let's click OK. And pull in a couple more circles. Right click, done. Let's add an equal relation. Again. And let's exit the sketch. Now activate the Cut tool on the Modify panel. We're going to select our three new profiles. OK. Now let's fold our part back up. Go to Folded Part. As you see, the cut we created isn't visible on the folded part. And this concludes our tutorial about creating and modifying a flat pattern.